So there are about four things that you need to make a Maple Story scene. First is your uh, video editor, and I use Sony Vegas 8.0 Pro. Second is your background maps and objects. If you don't have any, then I have a link in the description. Third is your basic photo or image editor. I use Paint.net, which is completely free. You can go download it. Some people might use Photoshop, which is more advanced. And last, you need your internet browser. I use Google Chrome or Firefox. Some people might use Internet Explorer. I hate it. <laughs> First, uh, we're going to open up our uh, video editor, Sony Vegas, and go to the project settings and um, make sure they're all correct. 640 by 360 is the YouTube dimensions. Make sure your pixel aspect ratio is 1. And just make sure those are right. We're going to put our background, so we're going to go to our images and look for something that looks like it could be a background. And just uh, drag it into Vegas. And um, you have to make sure that it's widescreen fit. So go to pan crop mode and go to the drop down menu on top and go to widescreen and then adjust it as you would like. Okay, next we're gonna put more objects into our little scene here. We'll put something in the sub background. Um, make sure it's on top and fix it so it goes to widescreen and then put it somewhere in the back. And um, we can put in like a, something in the forefront, like this gazebo. And put that in the front and adjust it. And since the uh, the little sub background is not in the front, it's not the main focus. So you can um, make it blurred. You can go to FX, go to Gaussian blurred or something, whatever, and um, put in a light blur or whatever. Alright, um, now I guess I want to put some trees in the back, but these trees are only one, like one tree, and I want a whole row of trees, and that would take a lot of Sony Vegas layers if I got like 10 trees in the back. So what I'm going to do is open this in paint.net, and I'm going to make a new picture, and then I'm going to delete all the white space so it's transparent, and I'm going to take this little tree here and copy paste it onto um, my new blank page and then I'm gonna uh, make new layers until I get a whole um, row of trees and this way you don't have to have like 10 extra annoying layers on Vegas because now you have a whole row of trees well I'm not gonna finish making this because I already made one myself so I'm going to uh, X out of here. Oh, by the way, make sure to save in .png. And I'm gonna go back to my pictures and go to my custom-made one. And I'm going to drag it onto Vegas. And I'm gonna put it behind the um, gazebo. So it's like a nice extra little background object. A lot of people want to know how you make moving clouds in the background, so um, here's how you do it. Here are the clouds. I'm gonna drop one in Vegas and uh, open it up in pan crop mode and um, make sure it's widescreen fit. And then I'm gonna put the cloud here, <laughs> make another keyframe at the end, and move the cloud over a little to the right. And move the keyframes at both ends, and then when you play it, the cloud moves. The end. Simple. Well, now we need to make a uh, character in our little scene here. So what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna get a band story code of Fataru, who gladly, willingly gave it to me, and I'm gonna go to band story, and I'm gonna load a band story code. Now I'm gonna go to um, her little properties, and I'm gonna save her uh, lair as hotaru.png, don't forget the PNG, 
Then I'm gonna go to her blinking layers and I'm gonna save each blink, the half blink and the full blink, so I can animate her blinking. I'm just gonna save these on my desktop. Then I'm gonna take these pictures and I'm going to uh, put them in my folder and then I'm gonna put them in Sony Vegas. And I gotta make a new layer for it. So I'm gonna take the first normal layer. I'm gonna go to pan crop, make it widescreen fit. And then I'm gonna adjust it here. And I am going to save this little um, pan crop size, dimension, ratio, whatever. At the very top, I'm gonna call it temporary, T-E-M-P, and I'm gonna save. And what you can do here is when you go to the half blink C uh, layer, you can go to pan crop and you can go to temporary and it will go in the same exact spot as you did the previous uh, layer. And I'm going to do that with both um, blinking frames. And obviously people don't blink that slowly, so I'm going to make these a lot smaller. And I'm going to put a little transition in between them so the blink is in like um, sharp. So uh, I'm just going to fix the little blink here. And then if you play it, she blinks. Now um, one problem people have is once you've make, um, made this scene with all these layers, you can't uh, zoom or pan it because you're going to have to adjust every single layer. Well, there is a way to bypass this. It's called, uh, what I like to call, mid-rendering. You grab what scene you would like to mid-render, go to the very top, right-click, and uh, go to Render to New Track, and what it does is render um, this part of your video to a new track. And once you've got this, now you can um, pan zoom this scene as you much as you would like, and none of these layers will get mixed up. And these are pretty much the um, basics to make a Maple Story scene on Sony Vegas. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye.